Happening today, a city council hearing on e-bikes and battery safety. It comes after several recent e-bike fires, including one that injured dozens in a midtown apartment building and another that killed a little girl in Queens. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook is live from City Hall with more on potential law changes. Elijah, what can you tell us about that? Well, you know, Chris and Mary, those incidents that you were just mentioning are prime reasons why the New York City Council and some fire safety advocates are working to push this legislation forward, uh, one that's expected to prevent some of these fires by educating the public about the risks that these lithium-ion batteries pose. Safety is on the forefront this morning when it comes to electric bike and electric scooters. At 10 o'clock this morning, the city council is expected to talk about new legislation aimed at informing e-bike and e-scooter users about just how dangerous these devices can be, especially when it comes to improperly storing and charging them. Videos like these from the FDNY show their horrifying impacts. We believe uh, the occupant was repairing bikes uh, in the building. Earlier this month, 43 residents in this east side apartment building were injured after investigators discovered at least five e-bikes either inside or outside caught fire. In September, an eight-year-old girl died from a fire in Queens after an electric scooter battery sparked a fire. These are just some of the concerns the city council will discuss today. According to the latest numbers provided by the FDNY, as of November 7th, there were 188 investigations, 139 injuries, and six people killed from e-bike, e-scooter fires this year. Compare that to last year, where there were 104 investigations, 79 injuries, and four deaths. I think the approach of banning, I think, is the wrong direction. Some apartment buildings across the city are banning these electric devices, which some advocates say isn't fair. They say many users of these devices are food delivery workers who heavily rely on them. Some believe the government should crack down on dysfunctional batteries and keep track of who is selling them. Reports show many of the fires are caused by refurbished batteries or ones that are not compatible with the charger being used. Instead of proposing alternatives, how we can do this better and safer and people to come forward, I think the banning is just taking us back in a totally different direction. Now, as we continue to look ahead to this city council hearing, a coalition of city residents, delivery workers, and fire safety advocates are expected to uh, talk right there behind me in front of City Hall about the risks that these devices uh, cause at times, and that's expected to take place at around 9 a.m. We're live right now in Lower Manhattan, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.